welcome to Lisa and Will's Hauls. Today, I have a Dollar Tree a DIY wreath to share with you. So let's get right into it. So I've been doing a few Dollar Tree hauls and I've been saying that I'm gonna make a sunflower wreath for my daughter. And I had bought this to go with it. So this is a bumblebee. So it seems like I'm gonna be making a bumblebee wreath and I don't know if this will be for my daughter or not but we're gonna see how it turns out. So for this Dollar Tree DIY, I did pick up this cute little welcome sign piece of decor, and it is in the tin with the cute little bumblebee with the hearts. And I did pick up the wreath form by Floral Garden. I picked up two packages of the clothes pins and they have 36 each in these and yes i have sunflowers don't know if i'm going to incorporate them into this or not we'll just have to wait and see and i also picked up this butterfly i was thinking of putting on as well and the thing about this if you take these this one is galvanized and this is a little tin butterfly if you take these off you can still use your S hook on here. And these are very useful for a lot of things. I use the S hooks in my laundry room, although I did pick mine up from Target a couple years ago. And I have some Dollar Tree container organizing baskets that I keep different things, snacks and stuff in, in the laundry room since I don't have a lot of pantry space in my kitchen. So now let's get into this DIY. The first thing I am going to do is I'm going to take the this one package of clothespins outside and I'm going to spray paint these black. This is a spray paint I'm going to be using. It's just a spray enamel fast dry. You can pick this up at Dollar General or Walmart. It's a dollar or under. And then I have my clothespins out ready to spray paint on a piece of plywood that I do all my painting on. It looks like I mostly spray paint black, doesn't it? So now let's spray paint these clothespins. It is super windy out here today. And if you can spray paint these, it does make it faster. I am also going to paint the other package in a bright yellow, which I will be hand painting. I don't have spray paint for that. I'm just trying to use what I do have on hand. So when I get these painted, I'll be back. While well, the clothespins that I painted black are outside drying, I've came inside and I have started to paint these yellow and I am going to be painting on the insides and the part where you push. And I had this on hand already. And as you can tell, I've been using it and it is the Apple Barrel Yellow Flame color. And I'm hoping I have enough to do all of the clothes pins that I want yellow. So now I'm going to get painting the yellow and I'll be back. I have all of the clothes pin painted in the black and the yellow and I've even went ahead and put them all on. So when I was putting these on, I just put them right here is the first little wire and the second little wire. I just put them right on the second wire. And I did go around and put four, 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 but it doesn't take four everywhere. So in a couple places, I do have it three in areas. Now I want to give it a little more effect. So now I'm going to come in and you can use any black paint that you have. I did pick this up at Walmart, but they have it at Dollar Tree as well. And this is the black Waverly chalk. And I'm going to be adding that to the yellow. And I'm going to be adding the white Waverly paint chalk to the black ones. And I'm just going to take a paintbrush that I got from Dollar Tree and put the tip of the brush, not the paintbrush part, but the tip of it. And I'm just going to go in on my yellow clothespins and put dots. And it doesn't matter where you put them or place them, just anywhere you would like to place the dots. And 
Then I'm just going to go on and keep doing the dots all over the yellow ones, and I'll be back. Now I have all the little black dots painted on the yellow, and now I'm just going to go around and paint the white ones on. Stick the brush down into the paint. I'm going to put the white dots on the black clothes pins now. And you can just place these anywhere you would like, or ever how you would like to do them. And now I have all my black and all my white dots painted. And I did take needle nose pliers and I took one of these little loopy metal pieces off because it was going to be too long for my wreath when I hung it down. I'm trying to get it back in. And the only way I have came up with to hang this where I can see, see it and it doesn't hang down too far is to use my jute string to tie this up on the back. So now I'm just turning it over and I'm gonna cut off a piece of the jute string or twine. And I'm just gonna tie it on this second. There's one here and there's a piece of the wreath form here, the metal piece, and I'm just gonna take it and tie it right up under there. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. And I'm going to double knot that so it will be tight and sturdy. Then I'm just going to come right over here and do the same thing. And I am going to cut this excess twine off. And let's turn it over and see what we have here. You're not going to be able to see the whole entire welcome, but that's okay because you can still pretty much see it. And then we have that hanging. So let's take it outside and see how it looks on the door. My total cost for this Dollar Tree DIY was $4. And this turned out really cute for $4. And I think I'm going to put this one on my door and I'm still going to make my daughter the sunflower wreath. So I'll have that in an upcoming video as well. I hope you all enjoyed this Dollar Tree DIY. I'd like to thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. Everyone, I want to wish you all a very happy weekend. And until next time, bye.